Hello friends. Welcome back to another mind-blowing episode of Facts Unveiled. I'm your host, and today we're delving into a fascinating piece of history, the year 1980, when there was only one country in the world without telephones. Can you believe it? Join me as we uncover the most unknown details and intriguing information about this unique country, and its journey towards modern communication. Let's get started. The country we're talking about is Bhutan, a small landlocked nation nestled in the majestic Himalayan mountains. In 1980, Bhutan was indeed the only country in the world with no telephones. At that time, the Bhutanese government prioritized preserving the country's traditional values and cultural heritage, leading to a deliberate decision to limit the introduction of modern technologies, including telecommunication infrastructure. So, how did the absence of telephones impact the lives of Bhutanese people? Well, communication in Bhutan primarily relied on traditional methods such as face-to-face -face interactions, written letters, and messengers. Villages were interconnected through a system of messengers who would travel on foot, delivering important messages and news between communities. This fostered a sense of community and strengthened interpersonal relationships. One intriguing aspect of Bhutan's communication system during that time was the use of Dakini, which were women messengers. These Dakini played a vital role in transmitting messages across long distances, carrying important news from one village to another. They were known for their agility, endurance, and ability to navigate the rugged terrain of the Himalayas. Let's talk about the reasons behind Bhutan's decision to delay the introduction of telephones. The Bhutanese government had a deep concern for preserving the country's unique cultural identity, and ensuring the well-being of its citizens. They believed that rapid modernization and the influx of technology could potentially disrupt the harmonious balance between tradition and progress that Bhutan sought to maintain. It's important to note that Bhutan's stance on telecommunication changed over time. In the late 1980s, Bhutan started taking steps towards modernization and recognized the importance of telecommunication for national development. The government gradually introduced telephones to the country, initially in urban areas and later expanding the network to reach remote regions. Bhutan's telecommunication journey took a significant leap in 1999 with the introduction of the Internet. This milestone opened up new opportunities for communication, information exchange, and connectivity. Today, Bhutan has a well-developed telecommunication infrastructure, including mobile networks, internet services, and widespread telephone coverage. Despite Bhutan's relatively late entry into the world of telecommunication, the country has embraced technology in its own unique way. Bhutan is known for its concept of gross national happiness, which prioritizes holistic well-being and sustainability over materialistic pursuits. This approach has shaped the development of Bhutan's telecommunication sector, focusing on providing access to technology that aligns with the country's cultural values and promotes positive societal impact. Bhutan's journey from being the only country without telephones to its current state of modern telecommunication is a testament to the country's careful balance between preserving tradition and embracing progress. It reflects Bhutan's commitment to ensuring the well-being and happiness of its people while leveraging technology for positive development. As we wrap up this episode of Facts Unveiled, let's appreciate the uniqueness of Bhutan's telecommunication history. It serves as a reminder that there are different paths to progress, and sometimes delaying the adoption of certain technologies can be a conscious choice driven by cultural preservation and societal well-being. I hope you found this exploration of Bhutan's telecommunication journey as intriguing as I did. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more captivating facts, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all our future episodes. Thank you for joining me today, and until next time, keep seeking knowledge.